bring them. Hey, good evening, people. I was alone here. Hello, good evening, teacher. Good evening. Looks like it, uh, I mean, it sounds like it is raining a lot in there, uh, Isabel. Pareciera que está lloviendo, pero super fuerte por ahí. Me está lloviendo bastante, bastante fuerte. No sé si me logra escuchar, porque está, se está cayendo el cielo. Oh, no, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I, can, I can listen to you, but yeah, man, it's, it's raining, like, it's very hard. Okay. But anyways, the good thing is that you're here. So, good evening, uh, Dennis and Walter. How are you guys? How was your day? ¿Cómo estuvo su día? Was it tiring? Was it good? Good? Very good, teacher. Ah, okay. Very good. Great, that's great. Are you guys going to have vacations? I mean, I'm, I'm talking about December, of course, right? Are you going to have vacations in December? Yes, teacher. Uh, one or two weeks? Two weeks. Two, two weeks. Two weeks, right? The week from the 24th and the week from <laughs> the 31st, I guess. Those are like the uh, only two weeks that we generally have, right? Okay, nah, but the good thing is that at least we're gonna have vacation, right? It's not that much, but yeah, that's still acceptable. Okay, so guys, we are going to start with tonight's class. So just, just, okay, one second, let's go for this number 13. Right, and basically tonight, guys, we are studying with the final section, right? So we're gonna be discussing a different kind of a structure, different kinds of words in, related to the vocabulary, right? So different kinds of things, okay? So let's keep on that, guys. Remember, if you don't understand something through the explanation of the topic, please turn on your microphones and ask, okay? The idea here is like every topic to be clear at the end of the class, right? So that's like the idea, okay? So I'm just gonna wait for a, a little while uh, just to start with the attendance list because how many of we, uh, I mean, how many of you are right now? Mm, we got 10, almost the half of the people. Okay, so I think with a 10, uh, I'm an, I can start with uh, the attendance list. Probably your classmates are going to join a little bit later on. So let's start with that, guys, because we have a very interesting topic to discuss, all right? So let's start, Alfredo Enrique. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Ana Maria. Present teacher. Okay, great. Brenda Angelica. Uh, she's there, but I don't know if she's listening. Karen Beatriz. Ah, okay, Brenda, thank you for letting me know that. Karen Beatriz, so Karen is not here yet. Selena Janet. Mm -mm -mm. All right, so Selena is not here yet. Give me one second, please. Clara Marina. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Cristian Eduardo. Okay, I guess Christian is el que dijo que no se podía conectar porque no tenía electricidad. Uh, David Alberto. 
Crecen. Ok, great. David Armando. So David Armando is no here. Ok, Denis Gerardo. Present teacher. Ok, great. Diego Rodolfo. Present. Ok, perfect. Erika Michel. Dun, 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 dun. Give me one second. Someone is texting me, but I don't know who. Oh, Brenda. I'm going to be connected. Fatima Laura. Present. Okay, great. Gabriela Margarita. Mm, she didn't report anymore, so. Griselda Jamilet. Here. Okay, very good. Give me one second, guys. Okay, great. So, Guillermo Josué. Guillermo, okay, so Guillermo is not here yet. Jaime Vladimir. Is Jaime here? No, right, so he's not here. Jenny Marisol. Jenny, okay, so she's not here. Jose Roberto. All right, so not even him. Jocelyn Abigail. Present. Okay, very good. Rafael Ernesto. Present. Okay, very good. Roberto Antonio. Na, na, na. So Roberto is not here. Sonia Guadalupe. Sonia, Sonia. All right, so she's not here yet. Walter Manuel. Present. Okay, great. Uh, Janira Isabel. Okay, perfect. And the last one, Judy Magdalena. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Ah, okay, Michelle, give me one second. I'm gonna set you here, Erica, verdad? Oh yeah. Okay, very good. Ya le puse, no te preocupes. Okay, guys. So nice. David Armando. Okay, David, give me one second. David Armando. Okay. Perfect. Ya tiene asistencia. All right, guys. So basically, as I told you uh, at the beginning of the class, so now we're going to have a very interesting topic. It's very different in comparison to the ones that we have been practicing in the past. So I'm going to share mm, 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 the manual. Right. Give me one second, guys. Esta cosa, porque se trago. Okay. Uh, Jenny Marisol. Ah, okay. Okay, Jenny. Chu, 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 chu. Here it is. Okay, guys. So basically, we're going to start this level or unit number 10 which name it's or oh, in this case uh, the topic question is have you ever ridden a camel so basically what is the main structure that we guys are going to be practicing throughout this unit it's going to be basically a structure called present perfect right? 
So that is going to be the name of the structure, guys, that we are going to be focusing on. So tonight I'm going to teach you guys how to create positive statements, questions, and negative statements using that structure. All right. So it's it, it's a little bit um, not difficult, but tedious. The fact that in here, guys, you use the past participle of the verb to create this kind of uh, sentences. Okay, so I want you to pay attention as much as you can, guys, at the moment of uh, the explanation, okay? So as always, we're gonna start, all right? Okay, so here's just a couple of activities, all right, that we got here. This is a short snapshot. A guide it's a, uh, to entertainment, all right? So this are, it, these are just a couple of activities that people can do, right? Like sing in, in, sing in a karaoke bar, like go to an internet cafe that nowadays is like not that common, right? Like in the past, try mountain biking, mm -hmm. Go ice skating, something that we never do here, right? See a live a live concert. Okay, but what are we going to focus on? It's gonna be on this conversation, guys, because in here it's stated the structure that we are going to be practicing. From here, we're gonna take the most important, right? And then it's gonna help us on the explanation of the structure. So we're gonna start with this short conversation. As I said, we're gonna be practicing it. And then we're gonna start with a series of, uh, you know, like explanation structures related to the present perfect, all right? And then you guys are going to do a couple of examples and exercises. But let's just start with this short conversation that says this is a visit to New Orleans, all right? So in here, you got a conversation between Jen and Todd, right? These two people are talking about a visit to New Orleans. Okay, so I'm gonna read the conversation as I generally do it, guys. If you want to follow me up, do it with the microphone off, so that way you can practice the pronunciation of every word that we have over here, okay? So I'm gonna start. It says Jen. It's great to see you. It's great to see you. Todd, have you been in New Orleans long? Have you been in New Orleans long? Todd says, just a few days. Just a few days. I'm really excited. I'm really excited to be here. To be here. Jan says, I can't wait. I can't wait to show you the city to show you the city. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Have you been to a jazz club yet? Todd says, yeah, yeah. I've, listen, I've already been to one. I've already been to one. Oh, well. Oh, well. How about, how about a riverboat tour? A riverboat tour. Todd says, oh, I've already done I've already done that too. That too. Jen says, have you written? Have you written in a 
street. Give me one second. Street car. Yeah, I think it is car. Yeah. In a street car, they're a lot of fun. They're a lot of fun. So it says, actually, actually, that's how, that's how I got here today. In here, guys, acá no es got, es got, got, okay? That's how I got here today. Jen says, well, is there anything, is there anything you want to do? You want to do? Todd says, you know, you know, I really, I really just want just want to take it easy. To take it easy. My feet, my feet are killing me. Are killing me. Okay, great guys. From this conversation, people, do you have any question with the vocabulary there? From here, do you have any question with the vocabulary? La palabra killing, teacher. Killing me. The last one? Ah, es una expresión. Yes. My feet are killing me. Como mis pies me están matando. Mis pies no los soporto. Mis pies no los aguanto. Right? It's like when we have pain on, on our feet. Cuando tenemos dolor en los pies. Okay. Great. Is there any other word, guys, that you uh, would want? Uh, I'm sorry, did you say something, Walter? Sí, está bien, teacher. Gracias. Ah, ah, okay. There you go. ¿Tienen alguna otra palabra, people, que no comprendamos de ahí? Is everything okay? Teacher. Yes. ¿Qué significa street car? Streetcar es un, se les llama tranvía, son como, eh, no, no sé si alguna vez han visto en algunas películas que suele, a veces en medio de una carretera o de una ciudad, eh, suele pasar como un pequeño, like, you know, like, tipo tren, pero pequeño, tipo bus. Sí. Eso es un streetcar. Right? Se le conoce como tranvía. Uh, driver boat? Uh, that's a driver boat tour. Es un tour en bote, en un río. Okay. Okay, great. No more questions, guys? Dun, dun, dun. Guys, why, why do everybody got the cameras off? ¿Por qué todos tienen la cámara apagada? ¿Está lloviendo por su zona? o oh, what happened, guys? Yeah, but, but you is always, it's like, like, raining a lot. I know. What about this? These other people. Okay, Brendis is a listener. ¿Quién más está lloviendo? Oh, Guillermo. And Rafael. Okay, I guess the rest can participate on, on conversations and everything, right? Because I'm gonna send you guys to practice this short conversation in pairs. I guess you guys have the manual, right? Creo que tienen los manuales, así que vamos a practicar esta conversación por unos cinco minutos. Luego vamos a venir acá y vamos a explicar la parte gramatical, okay? That's what we guys are going to do right now. So I'm gonna stop sharing this right now. And I'm going to send you to work and practice 
this short conversation. Banana. Espero no los pande a trabajar con alguno que esté en the listener. Uh, give me one second, guys. I'm gonna do this one. Hello. Eh, Isabel, creo que la voy a poner de oyente eh, en la conversación, en la práctica, porque si no se le escucha prácticamente mucho que se diga. All right, si más tarde, pues en la práctica ya la baja un poco, ya, uh, yeah, men, you, you can participate, ¿ok? We're gonna do that. Da -da -da -da. Give me one second. Okay, all right, guys. Now let's open up the breakout rooms, guys, and let's go to practice that short conversation for a couple of minutes. Then we're going to come back in here, okay? Let's do it, guys. Okay, great. Griselda, are you there, Griselda? Sí. Eh, ¿Se puede unir, por favor, al, al, a la sala 5? Fatima la está esperando ahí. Sí. Ok, Jenny, ¿usted también? Teacher, ya le di, pero me sacó de la aplicación. ¿Really? Okay, sí, no volví, volví a entrar nuevamente. Cuatro. Volvamos a intentarlo entonces. Dele aceptar, por favor. Oh, well, how oh, about a ripple tour? Oh, a little ready. That, that too. Have you written in a Printer, they are a lot of fun. Actually, that's how I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? 
You know, I really just want to take it, it easy. My feet are killing me. It's great to see you. Thought, have you been in New Orleans long? Just a few days. I'm really excited to be here. Excited. 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 Yeah. Excited. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to show you the city. Had you been in 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 teacher? Hello. Donde en Jan, donde dice I help you riding if I uh, straight. Ah, okay. Have you ridden in a street car? Street car. Street street car. No, no, no. Street, the calle. Street car. A street car. Yes. Dicho y arriba donde dice, donde, donde le dijo Clara, donde dice, oh, I've already, ¿cómo se pronuncia ahí? Donde dice, yeah. done that too. I've already done. I've already done that too. Mm -hmm. Ah, ok. I've already done that too. Ajá. Ok, sí tenía dudas con esa pronunciación, porque arriba está también donde dice, yeah, I read it been to one. Sí, esa palabra es already, already. Y el already. I. Exacto, y el I está contractado con have. have. Y el I've. 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 No lo pronuncia el, 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 como el have de, de último, va. El sonido, el, sonido de la, de la, el sonido de la B. I've. De la U. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Exactly. Okay. Bueno, thank you. Okay. Vaya. Empiezo yo, claro. Eh, Empezamos de nuevo. Va, empieza y después, bueno, vamos a ir turnando. La cuestión es leerlo todo. Va. It's great to see you, Todd. Have you been in New Orleans long? Just a few days. I really excited. Excited. To to excited to he, hear. I can't wait, wait to show you the city. Have you? Hello, guys. Hello, teacher. Hi. Have you been practicing? No. Why not? No. No sé si Denis está ahí. Denis. Hey, Denis. Are you there, Denis? Pues se supone que sí debería de estar ahí. Give me one second. Yo le entendí, pero creo que quizá no está. No sé si es que está lloviendo quizá por el lado donde, donde él está. But that's weird. Está raro. Because he said that he can participate. Bueno, lo voy a mover de, 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 de room para que pueda practicar, ¿ok? Ok. Perfecto. So I'm going to move you to number two. Ok. Let's go there. Um, it's great to see you, Todd. Have you been in New Orleans long? Just a few days. I am really excited to be here. I can't wait to show you. 
to see me. Yeah, I've already been to one. Oh, well, how about a, a river boat tour? Oh, I've already done that. In New Orleans. Just a few days. I'm really excited to be here. I can't wait to the city. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Yeah, I've already been to one. The girls, have you been practicing? Yes, teacher. Okay, great. Todo bien? No hay preguntas con pronunciación or something? Solo se me traba la lengua. Paga la pregunta. A mí en todas. No, que dice. Ah, come on, Jocelyn. A mí en todas. Don't that. I've done that too. I've done. I've done that too. <laughs> yeah, I mean, a little bit. Varias, varias. Okay. But uh, I guess you have been practicing enough. Creo que sí, ya participamos, practicamos un poco. Ahora sí las quiero escuchar, pero en la main section, okay? Así que vámonos y allá me lo van a leer, okay? okay. All right. And... Hello, Jaime. Hello, teacher. Good for you, then you're Mr. <laughs> sí, vine un poquito tarde, teacher, pero aquí estamos. Ah, lo bueno es que se conectó, Mr. That's what it matters. Yeah. That's what it matters. Give me one second. Jose. Who is Jose? Give me one second. Okay, so you're going, uh, you're coming back, guys, and I want to hear you practicing this conversation. Look, just give me one second. David, David Armando, si no me equivoco, era el que estaba practicando con Dennis, right, David? O era el otro David? Yeah. No, yo era It was you, right? Okay. Eh, usted, como se unió al otro grupo, uh, me va a participar con mm, que se me hizo Jaime Jaime acaba de entrar, ok, entonces él para que pueda tener participación uh, you're, gonna, you're gonna practice with him, ok when it's uh, your turn so like right now okay. t, 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 t. Clara so I'm gonna start with you, Clara <laughs> no sé por qué siempre yo, la, ¿por qué? porque es la primera que me aparece en mi lista, Clara Solo por eso. Es que yo voy de arriba hacia abajo, así que para no confundirme, según yo. Right? Al día siguiente hágalo de abajo para la. Okay. I will take that into account. Okay. Con, con mi compañero va. David. Yes, yes, with David. David. Let's go. It's great to see you. To have you been in New Orleans long. Just a few days, I really ex eh, esa palabra me cuesta e dicho. excited, excited, mister. Excited, really excited to be here. To be here. I can't, I can't want to show you the city. Have you been to a jazz club, club yet? Jazz club yet. Yeah. Jazz club 
Yet. All right. Yeah, I've already been to one. Oh, well, how about a river boat tour? Oh, I've already done that too. Have you hiding in a street ca a street car? There are a lot of fun. 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 Actually, that now I got her today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really use one to take is it easy. My feet are killing me. Okay, very good. Thank you, David and Clara. You did it excellent. Now, mm -mm -mm. who's next? Michelle and Jocelyn. When I hear you girls. Come on, Jocelyn. <laughs> I, I, I saw your expression like, ah, teacher, me, why me? <laughs> Yo voy a comenzar si quieres. It's great to see you, Todd. Have you been in New Orleans long? It's a few days, and I'm really excited to be here. Yeah. I can't wait to show you the city. Have you been to Jazz Club yet? Yeah, I've already been to one. Oh, well, how about river boat tour? Yeah. Oh, I already done that too. <laughs> Have you riding in a, a street car? There are a lot of fun. Actually, that's how I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? No, I, I, I really just want to take it easy, my feet are killing me. All right, I just want to take it easy, right? My feet are killing me. There you go. Thank you, Jocelyn and Michelle. Okay, great. Now, Walter. Let's go, mister. You and the person you were working with. It's great to see you. Don't have you been in New Orleans long? What are you practicing with, Mister? Yes, sir. It's great to see you. Don't have you been in New Orleans long? Walter, but who were you practicing with? ¿Con quién estuvo practicando? Um, Yo, teacher. Ah, with Yuri. ¿Me dormí? Oh. Ah, ok, ok, ok. Creí que Walter estaba solito. All right, there you go. So continue, Yuri. Um, Todd, Todd, ¿verdad? Ajá. Uh -huh. Just a few days, I'm really excited to be here. I can wait to show uh, you the theory. Had you been to just group yet? Yet, I be already been to one. Oh. Well, what a river what to do. Good, I did I really done that too. Had you riding in a, a street car? They are a lot of fun. Actually, that's how I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me. Okay, very good. Thank you, Walter and Judy. Now I'm gonna uh, take, okay, David 
and uh, Jaime. David Armando. We'll start, teacher. Okay, so you can start, David. So Jaime will follow you up. Okay. It's great to to see you tall. I heard you being a New Orleans long. Jaime, you there? I think you got issues with the microphone, mister. Ahora sí me escucha. Ahora sí, mister. Yes. Yes. Just a few guys. I'm really excited to be here. Excited. I can. I can want to show you the city. Have you been to just look yet? Yeah, I I've already been to one. Oh well, how about um river boat tour? Oh, I've already to done that too. Have you reading in the streetcar? They are low or phone? Actually, that's that's now I got hurt today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take a they get easy. My feet are killing, killing me. Okay, my feet are killing me. Okay. There you go. Very good, guys. Thank you for your participation. Now, Christian and uh, Dennis. You there, Dennis? Where's the first? Okay, you go first. Christian will follow you up. Okay. All right. It's good to see you, Tal. Have you been a new airlines long? Just a few days. I am really excited to be here. I can't wait to show you the city. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Yeah, I've I've already been to one. Oh well. How uh, about a river boat tour? Oh, have you already dumped up, dumped up too? Have you ridden in a street tier? You are there a lot of fun? Actually, that's how I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take it easy, my feet are killing me. All right, very good. Thank you, Christian and uh, Dennis. Now, let me see who else is missing. Ah, Robert, you finally got connected, mister. I finally got connected. <laughs> okay, very good. So uh, I think there's another person here that is with no participation and she doesn't have group. Karen, are you there, Karen? just got connected I guess Karen can you hear me Karen mm. y se nos fue okay mientras Karen vuelve all right Isabel. Ah, Isabel is, is Karen. Okay, Isabel, if you can participate, can you help me out participating with Robert this conversation? Yes. Okay, great. Well, we start. Uh, you can start if you want. Okay. It is great to see you, Tall. Have you been in or New Orleans long? Okay, just a few days. I'm really excited to be here. I can't wait to show you the city. Have you been to a jazz yes club yet? Yeah, I've already been to one. Oh, well, how about 
a riverboat tour? Um, I was already done that too. Have you ridden in a stream a street car? They're a lot of fun. Actually, that's how I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? Mm, you know, I really just want to take it easy. My feet are feeling. Very good. Thank you, Robert. And uh, Isabel. Now, Diego, who are you practicing, mister? Diego, are you there? Yeah, yeah excuse me. Uh, I'm with Janira. Yep. Uh, Isa, excuse me. Isa. Ah. Huh? And... And Jenny. And Jenny. Okay, there you go. So you practice with Jenny since uh, Isabel uh, was practicing with uh, Robert, okay? Okay. All right, perfect. It's great to see you, Todd. Have you been in New, New Orleans long? It's a few days. I'm really excited to be here. I can't wait to show you city. Have you been to Just Blue Jet? Yeah. I already to I already went to one. Oh well, how about a riverboat tour? Oh I already done that too. Have you ridden in the street here? There a lot of fun. Actually, that's who I got her today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I I really, really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me. Okay, very good. Well done, guys. Thank you for your participation. All right, people. Is there anyone else that, that I am missing? Ana Maria? You haven't participated, right? Okay. No ha participado, correcto? No. Okay, great. Let's do it with your classmate. So you were working with. Who was that? Was it Alfredo? Yes. Ah, okay, great. Let's start, guys. It's great to see you, Todd. Had you been in New Orleans long? Yes, a few days, and I'm really excited to be here. I can't wait to show you the city. Had you been to a jazz club jet? Yeah, I've really been to one. Oh, well, how about a river book tour? Oh, I did a really don't that too. Had you reading is reading in a street car? They a lot of fun. Actually, what do I go here today? Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to say it's easy. My feet are feeling me. Okay, very good, guys. I think you were the last couple. I mean, pair. Creo que era la última pareja, the last pair uh, to work. Let me see. Nosotros, teacher. Missing Fatima, right? Who are you working with, Fatima? Griselda. Okay, great. Let's do it. ¿Quién empieza? Uh, if you want, you can start. Okay. 
It's great to see you, Tom. Have you been in New Orleans long? Griselda, are you there? Griselda. Mm. ¿Y nos fue Griselda? Let me see. I think, or oh, oh, she has issues with the internet, or oh, she's not there. Let's do something. Uh, como veo que no se, no, no, no contesta, I'm going to help you up, okay? Le voy a ayudar, Fátima. Okay. It's, a, it's just a few days. I'm really excited to be here. I can wait to show you the city. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Yeah, I've already been to one. Oh, well, how about a river back to? Oh, I've already done that too. Have you ridden in a streetcar? They're a lot of fun. Actually, that's how I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me. Okay, great. Thank you, Fatima, for your participation, right? All right, guys. Now we're going to move out. In this couple of minutes, I'm going to uh, introduce part of the structure that we guys are going to be working on. And let's go into the grammar focus over here, guys. As I said at the beginning of the class, basically what we are going to be talking about throughout these classes that are missing, it's just about the present perfect, okay? This is basically the structure, guys, that we are going to be talking about, okay? And guys, in order for you to create, listen, in order for you to create a, a statement in present perfect, you need basically this part. Check this out. In order to create a positive statement using present perfect, you need a subject plus have or has, okay? Plus, check this out, verb in past participle, okay? Plus, complement. This is basically, guys, the structure that you need in order to create positive statements using the present perfect. Tomorrow, I will bring you guys a presentation explaining every detail related to this. Positive statements, negative statements, and question formation, which is part of that I hear. For example, guys, check this out. I have, check this out, I have uh, gone to the supermarket today, all right? O lo vamos a poner this week, this week, okay? Check this out, I becomes the subject, have is the structure, gone, that's the verb, the main verb in past participle, guys. To the supermarket this week is just a complement to make the sentence more specific. What is the idea of using the present perfect, guys? The present perfect is used to talk about actions that started in the past, but they continue to the present and they have the chance to continue to the future. Okay? In other words, guys. Presente perfecto, remember, es para hablar de actividades, listen, que iniciamos en el pasado y esas actividades no terminan, vienen al presente y tienen chance de continuar a futuro, ¿ok? So, es una actividad que se inicia en el pasado, pero que no ha terminado, ¿ok? So, that's the present perfect, conecta el pasado con el presente y asimismo futuro, ¿ok? But you might say, guys, pueden decir ustedes, like, how is that possible? Right? Give me one second. What happened? 
pero pueden decir, ah, ¿cómo es eso posible? Check this out, guys. Si yo les digo, we have, check this, we have uh, uh, been in this course for, let's say, uh, three weeks. Okay. Uh, we have been in this course for three weeks. So, what am I saying here, guys? ¿Qué estoy diciendo acá? La acción la comenzamos hace tres semanas. ¿Correct? La acción se comenzó hace tres semanas. ¿Ok? Now, guys. ¿Cómo conecta el pasado con el presente? Ok, porque todavía estamos en clase. ¿Correct? So, todavía estamos en clase. Entonces, estamos conectando el pasado con el presente. ¿Cómo conecta también el futuro? The future. All right. Sencillo. Porque las clases de este módulo terminan la próxima semana. So, in there, guys, ¿qué estamos haciendo? Conectando el pasado con el presente y así mismo el futuro. All right. So, the action, guys, it's an action that is, like, going to last in the future. Okay, so in there, in these situations, guys, it's like when we use the present perfect. En este caso, ¿qué creen ustedes que significa have en esta estructura? Have. Guys, ¿qué creen que significa have en esta estructura? Tenemos. Tenemos. No, guys. Have acá no tiene nada que ver con el verbo tener. Aquí no significa tener. Have, in this case... Nosotros no iniciamos. No. No. Have, have, no. have, de hecho, significa... Listen. Cuando es en primera persona, significa e. Cuando se refiere a una segunda persona, as. O cuando estamos hablando, en este caso, de un plural es hemos. Hemos. Right? En este contexto, guys, el verbo have es un auxiliar que simplemente significa as o e o hemos, dependiendo del, del subject que tengamos. Como por ejemplo en la primera oración, I have gone to the supermarket this week. He ido al supermercado esta semana. Right? So this is like the way. So acá es como he ido. Aquí no tiene nada que ver con el verbo I amin, mean, que significa tener, ¿ok? Aquí nada más está actuando como un auxiliar, ¿ok? Y el have siempre va a ir en esta estructura. Cuando es una oración en tercera persona ya cambia. Por ejemplo, check this out. Jocelyn has. ¿Por qué has? Because we're talking about third person. Ya estamos hablando de una tercera persona. Remember, podemos usar have and has, ¿ok? Since it is singular, so we got has. Jocelyn has, what? Done. Jocelyn has done. O oh, lo vamos a poner más sencillo. Finished. The platform. Check this out, guys. Jocelyn has finished the platform. In here, ¿qué estoy diciendo acá? What am I saying Jocelyn here? Jocelyn ha finalizado la plataforma. That's correct. So you see, this is basically what it says in here, right? This is what it what is uh, stated in here. So, but I want you guys to focus on this. If you got a singular noun, so you're going to use has. Pero el verbo, este verbo, es, es lo que quiero que presten mucha atención lo que van a hacer o colocar en cuando les toque hacer ejemplos. Right? Ese verbo, people, está en la tercera forma del verbo. That's the third form of the verb. ¿Y cuál es la tercera forma? Past participle. ¿Ok? Ya estuvimos hablando sobre esa forma del pasado participio en el pasado. Right? Eh, hace un par de clases atrás. Eh, and I guess, guys, you still remember that part. ¿Qué significa eso? Recuerden que en un... Enunciado, tenemos la estructura del verbo en base form. Luego tenemos simple past. 
Y luego tenemos past participle. Esto lo encuentran en cualquier lista de verbos. All right? Three forms, guys. The base form, for example, you can say eat. Right? That's the base form of the verb. But what about the past of eat? Es la que comúnmente conocemos. Y decimos ate. Right? Like I ate pizza. Ah, comí pizza. Okay. But in here, guys, you got eaten. Aquí es cuando agregamos el ado, edo, ido al verbo como traducción. Acá es comido. Right? So, in base form, ustedes pueden decir, I eat pizza. Right? In simple past, I ate pizza. Comí pizza. Y en past participle, I have eaten pizza. So, you see, e Comido, pizza. So this is the structure, guys. So remember, the main verb, it's going to be in past participle, okay? So this is like the way how we guys uh, got this structure, okay? So as I said, guys, this is just a brief introduction what I'm doing right now. And tomorrow, people, I'm going to bring you a presentation with this, okay? Just for you guys to get an idea how to create positive statements, negative statements, and questions. Okay? Y vamos a implementar dos, eh, I'm going to say this, adverbs que son already and yet. Las vamos a incluir ahí. And I'm going I'm to show you how to create questions using that, guys. Okay? Good. Before we go, guys, do you have any question? Hasta acá, ¿hay alguna duda con esto? ¿Qué he puesto acá? Something, guys, that you might not understand that good. Vamos bien hasta acá. Yo tengo una duda, teacher. Yes, tell me, Fátima. El auxiliar have va a significar e, as y hemos solo en el pasado participio. En past participle, no. En la estructura del presente perfecto. Presente perfecto. ¿Ok? Remember that. Presente perfecto nada más. El pasado participio del verbo es muy aparte. Eh, eh, se usa en el presente perfecto, right? Eso sí, que se usa con el presente perfecto. Pero en la estructura, recuerde, la estructura que se usa e, as o hemos es en present perfect, ¿ok? Entonces, solo en el presente perfecto, el have va a ser, va a ser esta auxiliar. That's correct. Sí. Solamente en esa estructura es que vamos a ponerlo de ese modo. As, e, o em. All right. Very good. By tomorrow, gonna, I'm going to bring you a couple of uh, examples with that. Y ustedes me van a desarrollar un par de actividades igual. All right, people. Okay, great. So this is just a brief introduction, as I said, guys, to what we are going to be discussing tomorrow, uh, tonight, because we did the practice with the conversation, right? I wanted for you to practice that conversation that we got there. And tomorrow, I'm going to be like, like deeper on this grammar explanation, okay? Great, guys. Bueno, si no hay nada más que agregar o preguntar. So thank you for getting connected to the class, guys. And let's see you tomorrow, okay? Have a wonderful night, people. Bye-bye, okay? See you tomorrow, teacher. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye, teacher. Bye-bye. Good, Good night. night. Good night, guys. Good night.